five, Brian Echeverria. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your service. Obviously, you guys give of yourselves to, to do what you're doing. The community, I think we recognize that now that the political juice has been sucked out of the mask distraction, that we have to move forward. And one of the things I wanted to thank you for tonight was the resolution, the non-discrimination resolution, the CRT deal, because it's, it's happening. And as a parent, I speak to other parents, there's a few things that we don't want. I'm biracial. I'm bilingual, I'm multicultural. The fact is, in America, in North Carolina, I can do anything I want, and I teach that to my children. And the person who tells my little pecan color kids that they're somehow oppressed based on the color of their skin would be absolutely wrong and absolutely at war with me. And I think that's the same for every parent. What the mask showed us is that the parents, the most powerful group of people in our country, that they're taking back the wheel. Now, obviously, we had to take the wheel back for the mask, but we're taking the wheel back from Washington all the way to Raleigh and into our local school board because CRT, all of that, the parents don't want it. It's a big, fat lie. There's not one belief. If, if you believe in CRT, I want to tell you you're a liar because that means you look at your black neighbor and say that they're oppressed and you look at your white neighbor and say that they're evil regardless of the experience that you've had with them. And we're not going to do that. The parents in the United States of America, right here in North Carolina and Cabarrus County, we know that's not true because we believe the lives we live. The fact is, I've been a business owner right here in North Carolina, and I deal with white people, black people, Hispanic people. My children deal with everybody. And the racism is only happening at the government level and on the media. The fact is, you have racists, and there's like, you can't even find them hardly. You just hear the stories about them. But this is, this is what we're dealing with. The parents are taking the wheel. I have an eight-year-old daughter who is absolutely dynamic, who can do anything, athletically, intellectually, spiritually, and emotionally. She is a dynamo. And I don't want a man swimming against her in the pool. The fact is, I don't want her playing against boys in soccer. I don't even let my sons rough her up. Do you think I'm going to let your son rough her up? This is what we're talking about policy going back to the parents because if you think people who love America are willing to fight for it you haven't met parents yet because I'm telling you parents will go further down any street than anyone who loves their country alone my name is Brian Echeverria I thank you for your service and we're taking back the wheel thank you for being here